And uh, Fritz, who is the first company who's going to join us up here for their two-minute elevator pitch? Well, we're going to start. we got a little bit of big data going on here. And so we're going to start with Clear Story. And joining us is Sharmila Mulligan, who is the CEO of, uh, of Clear Story. And um, so we're finding she's going to come on up, up here and, and sit in our hot seat there. Uh, I'm going to give you the mic, and, uh, and I'll give you... Uh, a second to get settled here, and we're going to start your two minutes right now. All right. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me here today. So just a quick a little bit about Clear Story. Um, we are, everyone in the big data space, as you know, is talking about the scale of data and all the challenges associated with um, analyzing and processing data at scale. What we're focused on at Clear Story is not just uh, dealing with the issues of data at scale, but more importantly, also dealing with the issues related with analyzing diverse data that's coming from disparate sources, both your internal corporate sources as well as third-party sources. So if you look at what's been happening um, over the last five, seven years, there's been a huge surge in the number of uh, corporate sources of our platforms that companies have inside of an organization, including um, the introduction of new big data platforms and platforms like Hadoop that are pr proliferating across the enterprise. Um, in addition to that, what's uh, equally interesting is the number of external sources of data that are now available for organizations to tap into. And specifically, if you look at external sources, there are about 7,000 open data APIs today that didn't exist uh, five years ago. If you looked back five years ago, there were less than 100. Um, these open data APIs you know, span things like Netflix, Twitter, Facebook, um, Google, so on and so forth. And there's a wealth of data trapped inside of all of those different external sources, combined with all kinds of premium sources as well. So what we at ClearStory are focused on is not just solving the problem of analyzing data at scale, which is obviously uh, a big one in itself, but allowing you to cross-pollinate data from multiple sources, both internal and external, processing that at scale, understanding how to bring in high-value data from third-party sources, bring it in with your own corporate data, and drive what you call a converged analysis that includes your own private data as well as external data. This is an area that we see is going to be incredibly important moving forward. All right. Great. Well done, Sharmila. So let's turn it over to our judges. We'll start off on the left side there. Tom, what'd you think? Um, well, I mean, big, big data obviously is a very hot area. It reminds me of... Might, if we could pull the mic closer to yourself. So yeah, that, uh, that, yep. Big data obviously is a very hot area. It reminds me of search a couple years ago. Um, I, I would like to have heard a little bit more about, specific about what you're going to be able to do. I mean, what's the ROI and, and get some specific examples of why as a company I would want to use that. So. Uh, I think I'd like to hear a little bit more, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say seven. Michael, uh, my reaction was kind of similar. I I think that uh, you expressed really clearly why big data is a big deal, and you provided all of that context. And in the last 30 seconds or so, you kind of steered it back toward what you guys are doing specifically. And uh, the idea of converged analysis sounds intriguing, but um, if you pinned me down and asked me to explain what that was, I'm not sure I could do so. So I would have liked a little bit more about um, you know, specifically what you guys are bringing and why someone would uh, use your uh, product. So I would also go seven. Charlie. Uh, very good. Uh, quick presentation in the two minutes allowed. Um, I was curious whether you're a NoSQL type of analysis system or relational database. Um, we'll, we'll get, we'll, we'll, you'll get a chance. We'll, we'll, you'll get a chance. And it, sounds, and it sounds like you're both. Uh, given the capabilities of uh, what you can do, uh, that, that's good. That's perhaps the right way to go. Um, but I'd still like to know more about how much um, do you need to know about formulating a query to use this system, that kind of thing, because that's a crucial user interface issue. So uh, the way we run this format is the presenter gets two minutes, the judges get to say uh, what their scores are, and, and Charlie, do you have a score here? A six, okay, so two sevens and a six. And uh, uh, Charmilla, you have 30 seconds to respond to what you just heard. All right, so let me get to Charlie's question first. So. Um, 
personally, as far as the different data sources, um, we address both structured and unstructured data, and we buffer you from having to know any of the technical complexities of interfacing with those sources. So the user model that we are providing, which comes with our web client, is specifically designed to make it very easy for a business user to extract data from both corporate sources and external sources and buffer you from having to write SQL or any of the MapReduce or to MapReduce or any of those frameworks. So it is a very different approach um, as it relates to that. Okay. All right, great. Sharmo, thanks very much for joining us on uh, Valley View here. You, yeah, go ahead. You can uh, make room right. for the next guest. Thanks.